guys, what up? Um, so I'm feeling a little bit better today. Got my hair dyed. My wonderful fiance sat there for hours and got all of my grays that I told her she caused me. <laughs> and my hair's good to go. All dressed and ready. I got my suitcase packed. So off to the airport soon. Wish me luck. Good talk. Well, I don't know. He stumbled across it. <laughs> well, you've heard it. What do you have? The dimension? Tell the story, Buffy. You know the story, don't you? I do, but I like to hear it. Well, tell me about it. <laughs> Nothing. Tell me the story about Blackie with the bloody mange. Shot him. Yeah, because he was such a 
Is that a real story, Bubsy? Or was you telling secrets to yourself? <laughs> you remember when you told me not to tell secrets to myself? <laughs> Make me laugh, Buffy. Do you remember the Dunlop's disease? You bet when that guy's belly Dunlopped over his jeans. met in Charlotte and flew home for Thanksgiving or Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. He doesn't even have a big belly, but he can't keep his pants up. He has he to wear this. I mean, he has no ass. He's a little, <laughs> like, he's a little chubby, little. Oh, I love him. He's perfect. Let me tell you what. Those old ladies are eyeing Grandpa. They're like, he has a lot of money. He's sweet. He's handsome. And he doesn't need a walker. And he drives at night. Yeah, it's really marketable. Well, good because he scares me. Yeah, it's crazy. He looks great. Yeah. For ages. People. Love your mama. You're gonna be on YouTube. No. Oh, we are. Stephanie. No. I can see that you might chew my glasses. Okay, but you're gonna get crazy. Hi, baby. <laughs> baby, puppy. See how that much better she is? Stephanie? As long as she has a toy. Look at those little legs. Hi. Um, it's me. I made it to North Carolina. Thank God. Um, after a plane ride from Fort Lauderdale to Asheville and then driving two hours up to the mountains, I'm exhausted. But I just wanted to make this vlog to kind of recap how everything went with my dad and mom um, when I got to the airport my dad was waiting for me it was really cute he parked and left my mom outside I was waiting at the gate like when everyone walks out past security and he was actually talking to some random lady because he kind of does that now he just talks to random people thinks they're his friends or I don't know just talks to random people so we just let him but anyways he was talking to some random lady and I almost walked by him. To be fair, I did just dye my hair darker. So he might not have been expecting someone with super dark hair because I normally have blondish hair. So, um, 
I walked by and I grabbed him and we hugged and I was so happy to see him and I got my bags and went to dinner with my mom and um, he was good at dinner, not, not as talkative as usual. Um, I noticed that he kind of forgot like little stories that had to kind of remind him of details before he would really recall it. Maybe he was just saying he recalled it because he didn't want me to feel bad, I don't know. Um, he kept checking his time and he was like antsy to leave. And I don't know if maybe it's because he's not supposed to drive at night and he was trying to be like, good about that or maybe he just doesn't have the same patience to sit around after dinner. Um, so we headed back and he actually got lost on the way, he forgot an exit, no big deal. Um, but it was just weird because he was always has always been very good with directions. So we finally got back, maybe like 20 minutes later than we should have. And I felt comfortable enough to stay here for the first night. Um, play it by ear. I'll split between here and my grandparents' house because it's really nice to be home in my bed. My parents have a Tempur-Pedic bed in my room and my mom got me new sheets that are so soft, Egyptian cotton. And I have a TV and a bathroom right there. And it's just super comfortable. It's very comfortable with my grandparents too, but this is my room. Um, so yeah. It's all in all it was a pretty good night. I didn't nothing out of the ordinary, no fights or lashing out or anything like that. So I'm happy, I'm really happy that I decided to come and I'm gonna try to, to vlog every day. Kind of recap what I did because there's some really cool things that my dad wants to take me to do that I haven't done since I was a kid here, like touristy things and I'm down. I mean, so I'll make memories and I'll videotape some cool stuff. Um, I've actually never had my phone, fun fact, I've never had my phone on during takeoff or landing because I was always scared that it would interfere with the electronics, whatever they tell you to turn your phone off, so I always turned it off. And I actually taped my takeoff and landing and some like, cool pictures in the sky, which I thought was pretty neat because, I don't know, it's always cool to see takeoff and landing. Um, yeah, so that was neat and I enjoyed the flight. It was pretty easy, minus a long drive and a long day. But I'm gonna get some good sleep and I'll be up tomorrow for some more adventures. Hopefully I'll get some good footage for you guys. Alright, thanks for listening. Good talk, guys. Night.